We continue to provide a lot of services for our students. One that's really exceptional is that we're helping our health care providers. Uh, a couple weeks ago, these were bustling hallways with kids walking through here, learning skills, earning certifications to go out in the world and find their own career path. Today, the hallways are quiet, but we have teachers here. Uh, making PPE to, to protect our healthcare workers as they protect us. Well, we are creating headbands for face shields. Uh, this is an FDM fused deposition modeling 3D printer. We have seven machines going in the building currently where we can make about 27 a day here at the CCIC and district-wide including all the other high schools. Uh, we can pump out about 60 per day. The, the kind we're making will have an elastic strap that goes all around the back. You know, it, it kind of breaks my heart that this wonderful facility that we're sitting in is, is, is quiet, is empty. The kids have loved being here. They've learned so much in just a short time that it's been open. Thinking that we had the opportunity to do something about that, to have our community step up and help, uh, I knew it would be available to, for use, and I had a confidence in the Cherry Creek School District in stepping up to help our community out. Well, thank you, Arthur. Go for it. I have never been prouder to be the superintendent of the Cherry Creek School District, to see our teachers in here working to help our community, to protect those that protect us. It's just a proud, proud day for me. The biggest thing I think is to see that these 3D printers and additive manufacturing, um, it's, this is solving a real world problem right now. And there's a shortage of uh, protective equipment and these, this is the reason this type of technology was created and why we use it in class and in school. You know, I'd seen um, organizations, maybe not schools, but people doing this and thinking to myself, it'd be really nice if we could utilize our 3D printers to help our community. And, you know, having that opportunity and having leaders in our district that understand that our talents and what we can do in our buildings and the desire of our teachers to give back to our community, um, it really meant a lot to get that email. I'd also like to thank our Cherry Creek Schools Foundation. They helped by supporting the work here at the CCIC and across the district for our teachers to come in and produce PPE for our healthcare workers. And if you want to help the foundation and support our community, our kids and our healthcare workers, you can support them by going to our district website and donating to their emergency relief fund.